I just got my hands on the new Instant Pot Ace 60 cooking blender. We are about to check this thing out together. I have not even taken it out of the box yet. I'm a little skeptical on the blender, the cooking blender. I mean, Instant Pot, the pot, you can get a lot of uses out of. I don't have many uses for the blender other than smoothies, pina coladas, and the occasional soup. So, I wanna know what all this can do. This is $99, only available at Walmart, I believe, right now. But at $99, you have to think, there's no way this works as well as the Vitamix. But at $99, I'm way more likely to buy it. Woo, it's like Christmas morning. So, Vitamix apparently heats up food because of the blades friction. But this one, I have read, actually heats up hotter to where it'll actually cook something. I just don't know what you would want to cook other than soup in a blender. Gourmet results, multi-use, one-touch functions, and it's professional quality. All right, so let's see what's all in here. I'm guessing this is gonna be like Walmart's Black Friday special. Mark my words. All right, user manual. A sack filter, this is for nut butters. Cleaning brush, measuring cup, and the old pusher downer for the smoothies. Whew. Smells like wasabi, all this packaging. That's the lock feature like the Instant Pot. Oh look, the base looks just like the Instant Pot. I've got high hopes now. It has eight pre-programmed one button pushes. I'm wondering if it gives me any recipes. Oh, we could download the free recipe app. So it gives you no instructions. I guess I just put the soup ingredients in and blend them. Hot blending combines boiling and blending. It's capable of cooking the ingredients that are fresh as well as ones that are pre-steamed or cooked. I'm going fresh. It's fall. We're going with the most classic fall soup, butternut squash, because I really want to test its power of cooking. So I'm going to go get my ingredients for butternut squash soup, and we're going to give it its first try with soup. All right. I did have a little help. It has measurements on the side, so if you're doing a cold drink, you can fill it up to here. But I guess if you're doing a soup, you need to only fill it up to here so that it doesn't explode, maybe. I'm getting a little nervous, I must say. I feel like it's gonna be a little dangerous. Yeah, I'll just be sure to read these instructions before you start. Fill the pitcher with the recipe ingredients. It doesn't say one has to go in before the other. Okay, I'm gonna do like four cups of squash, some onion, a little fresh thyme, a little salt, and then I guess I'm just gonna pour in some chicken stock. All right, I went to my line, maybe even just below. I'm gonna be amazed if this works. However, this might be the easiest thing I've ever done. Got the lid on, and then you have to lock it in its place. And then I guess I'm just gonna push the soup button. Maybe I should plug it in. All right, here we go. Soup. All right, we're going 20 minutes then. I did hear that this is what it does, so it's just gonna like, kind of spin and cook as it heats up. First of all, I feel like I need to give it more time, more than 20 minutes. All right, I'm starting over. How do I adjust the time? I think I don't have control over this. When the program has completed, the blender will beep 10 times and will display done. How does it know what I put in here? Is the one soup function the same for everything? Oh, okay, here, yes, it has two programs. The one and the two dots. So you see it's got like two dots down here. One is for a chunky soup, which is gonna be 20 minutes. The next is a creamy soup, which this is gonna be, and it does 22 minutes and 44 seconds. That's all you have control of. Okay, I'm going with function two. Okay, and it gives you the temperature down here, 24 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I have to go back to the book. Temperature, Fahrenheit and Celsius. To change the displayed temperature, press cancel, then press and hold pause for five seconds. Sorry, we gotta cancel it again. It will beep once and display the selected temperature. Well, it's not displaying anything. Well, all right, kids. We're just gonna go with Celsius. Okay, let's look at the table of contents. Wait, am I not, oh, I guess I'm not supposed to take the top off. Wait, I mean, on a regular blender, you have to take this off or it will explode. Y'all, it doesn't say. In this picture, it does not look like the centerpiece is in there. Oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I 
If I get burned in the face, what are we gonna do about that? I need someone to ring, I just need a number to call. Cause I need to know before this cycle ends or before I get blown up in the face. Thank you for reaching out to Instant Brands. My name is Josh, how can I help you? Hey Josh, um, I just got my Instant Pot blender and I was making some soup in it right now. And I just got ner I just got nervous because I did not take out the top centerpiece, the cap on the lid. It didn't say to, okay. but I didn't know am I supposed to. Uh, the, the clear plastic? Yes. No, you would want to leave that on. Okay, so even if it's boiling hot, it's not going to explode? Yes, ma'am. No, you want to keep that on just to be safe. Okay, wonderful. All right, well, I'm excited All about right. my soup. Thank you. A real person answered within like a minute. Plus, for the Instant Pot support team. You sounded like he thought you were a crazy person. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, yes, leave it on. Thanks, Josh, at Instant Pot. Um, I guess we wait. Boiling point is 212 degrees, so it gets really hot. I think that's going to be the biggest difference between this and the Vitamix. Look, it's boiling. Oh, it's at 98 degrees Celsius. I bet that is 212 degrees. Let's see. What is 98 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? The answer is 208.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you can't get this to read in Fahrenheit, just use your smartphone. It decided it was ready. I said it would do 10 times. Done, D-O-N-E, done. It looks good. They proved me wrong. It's good, like needs a little more salt and some pepper. It still smells like wasabi, I swear. I mean, it's good. It is, I'm shocked at the consistency. It's perfectly blended, smooth. There's not any chunks. It cooked it. Instant Pot knows how to get the job done in a fraction of the time. Hashtag not sponsored. I do want to try out the cleaning feature of it though. I just tried to rinse it and it's hard not to get the bottom wet. Um, so you do have to be careful there. The first step removes the debris. And then you can even put a little dish soap in here. I'll just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try pulse and clean. I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I just push it. Ooh, and it cleans itself. I mean, it's pretty clean in there. It doesn't smell like soup. It cleaned, all you do is rinse it out. Overall, this was a really good trial run with the Instant Pot Blender. I was a little skeptical at first thinking, I can't really find enough uses for this. I'm gonna play around with it over the next few weeks try a few more recipes with it and see how we do. Love the design, love the sturdiness of it. I feel like it's a good piece of equipment. It's not gonna break on you. I even feel like it's a little bit smarter than me in some ways, in a lot of ways. It knows Celsius more than I do. I wish they provided a little more instruction, maybe even a few more recipes. We can download the app, so I think I'll go ahead and do that and see what recipes I can try out for next time. I know it's gonna create a great smoothie um, or frosted drink. It seems like it's got a good bit of power. The cooking feature on it is great, especially if you wanna make soups and baby food. If you are a mom or dad that makes food for your babies, great product here for that. I'll give the nut milks and nut butters a try next time. I'll probably also make a delicious pina colada on the next round. So don't forget to subscribe to Well Done Food on YouTube and follow us on all the social media networks. Don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. So what do you want me to try next? Do you have any crazy concoctions you want me to throw in here? Do you have any products you're scared to buy yet and want me to try first? Please comment below, send me suggestions, and I'll see you next time.